we going, Aria? To the butcher. No. <laughs> <laughs> Queensland. To the, Queensland. To the border. We're almost at the border. I can't believe it, Daniel. Yeah, I know. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time. But yeah. we've made it. We've made it. sit down maybe tomorrow when the truck's in it um travel trucks and try and plan out a bit more of um where roughly where we're going to be for how long and what we're going to do around the school holidays and stuff so we'll plan out a bit of a bit more of a plan um uh, from up the coast of queensland yeah we are pumped pump pump pumped let's do this where are we in gorgeous back at yatla pies <laughs> thanks to my friend zoe who has uh, been watching along and lives in, in sort of the area I think she corrected us last time we came <laughs> and uh, it's actually called Yatna. Yeah so this is they're so good that so we good came back that. on the way through specifically yeah. <laughs> made it a lunch stop. We shouldn't have though because like eating out last night, eating out lunch today, the diet is really taking a bit of a hit. <laughs> take them on for the team. <laughs> we will we will uh, take it easy for the next couple of days though. Yeah. Um, and maybe do some chicken and kale slaw to counteract. So we've got a bit of time to kill before we can head to where we're staying for the night, which is just at a showground. They won't check in after two o'clock because they're having a lunch break. So we've just sort of found a playground near where we were. Oh, we can sort stop. of found. <laughs> we definitely found. Yeah, just so there's like smaller kid stuff, bigger kid stuff. Skate park behind me there. Basketball court, kind of thing. Lots of nice shady trees. I think we can hang here for a little while. Chairs in the shade. Look at these chairs. <laughs> yep. We're good for we're good for a bit. <laughs> Dog friendly as well. Um, can't remember the name of it though. Name of the park. We'll put it in. We'll pop it in. We'll pop it in here. Don't mind my hat. Got my hair in a bun today. Right on top. So it's a bit wobbly because it was very sunny. Look, I am sad. <laughs> He's gonna fall asleep there. Where's Aria? I can hear her. Is Hi she coming? Hi! Hi, slide down! You're on your belly. Whee! <laughs> g'day, g'day. We are at the, what's it called? Lawler Showgrounds? Launton? Yeah. Pine Rivers Showgrounds. Pine Rivers Showgrounds in Brisbane. Launton. Launton. <laughs> Hang on, let's see Aria. Show us Aria. What are you doing? Playing some music. Yeah. On your, what instrument is it? It's a tar. Is it? I thought it was a you. Hello, Is it? Yeah, no, it's changed to a tar. Oh, okay. Wow. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, so Pine River Showgrounds. It's um, $25 a night, power and water. It's pretty massive and there's plenty of space. Um, yeah. It's very busy, yeah. I mean, it's in Brisbane, you know, like. Yeah. Dog friendly, uh, as everywhere that we stay. Yeah, pretty good. I won't bore you with the details, but I mean, it's a showground. They're all pretty similar, aren't they? Uh, and I just have to say, it has an epic internet. There's a big Telstra tower just over here. I just got 500 megabit down. 500 megabit a second, 5G. <laughs> Crazy. Right, here you have it. Dinner. I've got an ocean dog. Um, start the day. Yeah, look, spiral pasta is not the uh, 
Spiral pasta is not the most gourmet of pastas. <laughs> Just use whatever you got in the cupboard. Hey, we're caravanning like it's not about restaurant meals when you're cooking the caravan. It's about delicious, quick and easy and easy to clean up and tasty and ones that everyone like. What do you reckon? Um, did we do all right? Mm. What you do did, you reckon, Aria? You did good. Is it tasty? I'm not tasty. <laughs> <laughs> You're so evil. Every time. We've raised such a foodie. If I don't put Shade Parmesan on her pasta now, she's like, Where's my Parmesan cheese? <laughs> Excuse me. Did I put Parmesan cheese on for you, Aria? No. <laughs> That's cheese. Just cheese. <laughs> Pretty sure it's Parmesan. We, don't, we also don't cheese. often have like pre-made like meatballs and stuff, so it's always good to have a couple of those in the cupboard, in the fridge or freezer for those nights where it's just like got to be quick yeah. <laughs> and yeah. easy. Hey, <laughs> sorry about the shade in the background. Um, so we've had the truck in getting the fuel tank redone at Travel Trucks in uh, Brisbane and. We use the Suron to get backwards and forwards, and this is what one of the reasons we got it just like as a tool, you know. Um, it's road registered, so I'm just gonna pop on and uh, ride on down to travel trucks, and I'll put it back in the truck when I collect it. Enjoy. We're at Travel Trucks with Chris, and Chris, what, what did we do on the truck today, mate? Alright, so we've uh, changed out the manual transfer system for a electric with a timer. Um, the diesel, the diesel fuel? Diesel transfer, tank. so yep. basically hit a button in the dash, transfer your fuel through from your auxiliary, uh, it'll time out after 30 minutes, turn off. So just a lot easier than getting out and Yep. Same hand. as my old G Wagon in the Air Force. Yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah. Um, cool. And it's got a return system that the tank, factory tank, overfills. Uh, just returns back to your, Beautiful. your, your auxiliary. So. Awesome. You pick up out of your auxiliary. Yep. It comes down around up through a filter. Oh, nice. uh, you'll actually see that uh, pumping when the pump's running. Through the pump into the factory tank. Yep. And then your return line coming back through through a check valve, right? That just stops the migration of fuel from here into your auxiliary. Yep. Downhill runs, things like that. So it just sort of holds it uh, and returns back if you fill the factory. Cool. cool. Travel yeah. trucks have done all the work on this truck since we bought it. And they've done a really, really good job. So if you need anything, definitely hit these guys up. And if you're looking at buying an Iveco, we had a pre-purchase inspection done by these guys, which was good, eye-opening. Yep. And, um... We eat out. Yeah. Gun. How's it going? Good, mate. Yourself? Good. Wes, can you tell us a bit about the Iveco and what it does, what it's capable of? Yeah. Oh, look, uh, for people who know travel trucks, like, we live and breathe these things. And the reason I got into the Iveco was I really believed in the product. Yeah. Um, yes, look, they've got problems like every other vehicle. 
but as a four-wheel drive the capability is just second to none and for the size as well so like yeah. most people don't realize but it's actually like the same length and width as the 79 series yeah correct so we fit in normal car parks with ours yeah um just yeah but um and even the length like yeah as soon as you go up to an isuzu or a hino or a fuso you know you're talking much longer you know you are and also find having the gearbox up in the dash because it feels natural and the, the six-speed gearbox in the dash just feel it doesn't feel trucky yeah but obviously you're in a much bigger vehicle yeah but exactly what you're saying you fit in your lane properly your general driving's a lot easier um but yeah no a lot of positives still yeah and a lot of negatives but that's Correct. what i was saying <laughs> They're known negatives. Usually they're known, known downsides and these guys work really hard to fix those known downsides. Yeah, for the first vehicles we got in the country going back to 2013, uh, we really did work hard. Our background was designing vehicles, pulling vehicles apart, a little bit of OEM exposure. Yeah. So we weren't strange to when we first got these trucks and then nothing has really evolved except for the product line and actually making those fixes for the vehicle yeah even now with the newer models coming through we're always looking at what you know what what are the downfalls and what are the what are the fixes for those problems yeah what are the things that need to be fixed for our country our conditions like long range touring which is what most people buy these for that's right and they are particular vehicles set up depending on what you're doing. Like your caravanning, yeah. we got our scrub master motorhomes, we got general utes. So every vehicle's got its own little way of getting set up. Yeah. 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 And um, I can thoroughly personally vouch that all the work that these guys do and everything they touch is professional and really well done. Thank you very much. So like all the wiring and yep. everything is just top notch. So. That's we why do, we come back we to do them. try hard. We do. Yeah. We're not going to get it right 100% of the time, but we'll put 110% effort in. Yeah, and we have totally found it. And when they say they're going to do something, they do it, and they do it in a timely fashion as well. It's called that good old <laughs> service, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't exist that much. Uh, it has slipped a little bit over the years, but we're trying to revamp it, bring it back. Well, when you get popular and busy, that's what <laughs> kind of happens. You have to. Uh, it was one thing I kept also with the business is trying to keep it at that personal level. Yeah. Yeah. I own the business, people can talk to me, it's no problems. Whereas I think once you get those businesses of a higher level, then you lose that contact. Absolutely. Yeah. But at some point you'd have to step back, right? In the future. Well, I'd like to time. travel. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get going in one as well. Well, Chris is pretty good. Chris is the manager. He's yeah. pretty awesome as well. Like, he's good to deal with, so. Oh, uh, look, Chris is, um, he may as well own the business. The people who actually have dealt with Chris. Yeah. Um, he takes it on. He he's passionate about it. Well, he's building his own scrub master now, so that he can get on the road. Yeah. And it's going to be a sad day when he walks out <laughs> that door because. Uh, what are you he, going to do? You need to travel before he finishes his truck. Well, we've come master. to an agreement. Put it that way. <laughs> One time. <laughs> he's uh, Cole's had a ride on the Suron before as well. What do you I think did. of that, mate? Oh, mate. Uh, <laughs> I'm saving me pennies. <laughs> <laughs> I can see one of them on the back of my truck, no problems at all. I need all. commission. <laughs> yeah, that's Vanessa, right. Vanessa, if you're watching this, I need commission, mate. The funny thing is I've already reached out to Vanessa, yeah, had yeah. a yarn to her, <laughs> uh, looked at some forecasting, and uh, because in this particular vehicle to have that little option to just zip off is magic. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, there's a guy at the caravan park we're staying at the moment. He's got a, a scooter on the back of his motorhome. Oh, yeah. A Vita motorhome or whatever. Yeah. And uh, it's 100, 130 kilos, this scooter weighs. Yeah, yeah. 125cc scooter. Ours, the Suron weighs 50. Yeah, it's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think also from a safety perspective, you know, a little bit of um, being able to go and do something. Yeah. That's just great, especially remote travelers. Yeah. yeah. We just uploaded a video. Uh, the, the perfect travel companion. Oh, this it's coming. Yeah, anyway, all right. Thank you very okay. much, guys. Thanks very much. Thank you for the discussion, you, mate. mate. Cheers. And uh, travel trucks, if you want to buy an Iveco daily 4x4, or you have any questions about them, or you want a pre purchase inspection done, which is what I had, um, so come and see these guys. They're in Brisbane. Unfortunately, that's the only place they are. They're not Australia wide, but you can't have everything. So, yeah, if you need anything, give, um, give these guys a call. Cole and Chris. Thank you. Thank you. What is this, Amanda? This is a little fenced off-lead dog area. Oh, cool. It's right across from the caravan. Yeah, which means all of the other dogs come and play in the off-lead dog area. And, and our dogs bark at them. <laughs>
Anyway. We're trying, aren't we? Yeah, we are Mom. trying. Um, but Mommy, I came over, had a play with the dogs Mama. earlier. In a minute, in a minute. I came over and um, had a play with them earlier. And uh, there's no one here now again, so we come when there's no one else here. Because um, I, don't, I don't trust you still. Um, and we come back to have another little play before dinner. And there is one little hole in the fence that we need to um, sit. That we need to um, be aware of. But they are keen as mustard. <gasps> Run away! Go! Have fun! Yay! Oh, sniff. Sniff. <laughs> Should bring a ball. Can I go grab a ball? Uh, they didn't play earlier, did Yeah, it might, yeah. Just get to go down wing on everything. <laughs> this must be something. Don't, Aria. I know, she did that earlier. Aria. I don't get to play off lead very often. That's what I did earlier, it was so good. Wow! Another day in sunny Brisbane. And it's an Aria and Mummy day. Well, we had to put the truck in at Iveco again. So Aria and I have caught the train and we've caught up with a friend. And now we're heading on another train into hopefully South Bank if we catch the right train. And then we're going to have a look around there. Have you liked the train rides? Yes, we did a lot of train rides. We have had a lot of train rides. And then when Iveco is finished with the truck, we'll catch a train back to the truck and we'll drive it back home to the caravan and Dad and the doggies. Yes. Yeah. So we just stumbled across this um, Nepalese palace, I think. And it's all carved by hand. Have a look at some of the detail. Crazy, crazy talented, crazy talented. We're just wandering around, seeing what's around. Have about half an hour or so, so just gonna wander. Look at this, this is what we've just found. Wow, isn't that pretty? Which way should we go? Which way? All right, let's do it. They say South Bank's great for kids. I agree. We've now found a playground. So Aria's got four minutes before we have to start walking back to the train. <laughs> so she gets a four minute play. That'll be interesting to see if it happens. Found another little amazing little thing. So just further down along the walk, after the Brisbane sign, the eye, playground, awesome garden, forest thing. There's a little pool and beach. Have you had a fun day with Mum, Aria? Yes. What was your favourite thing? The train. The train ride? Yes. Well, lucky we've got another one coming. Good to go again. So I think definitely an area of Brisbane I recommend coming to, um, especially when the caravan park's so cheap. Jump on a train, there's a train station right nearby the caravan park, well the showgrounds, and the caravan park, sorry the train station is just near here as well and you can walk along and there's something for everyone, there's heaps of restaurants and bars and cafes and stuff, there's lots of things to see and do and look at and history and yeah it's definitely somewhere, I know Brisbane doesn't, it's not caravan friendly but it's definitely I reckon something that you could do for a day and make a day of it for sure. Oh, nice job! So we've really been pumping the instant body here in Brisbane. 
Yeah. Uh, mostly because they're trouble-free meals yeah. and they're nice. Yeah, like and the butcher's nights, good. Three nights in a row is amazing. It is. Yeah, I think three nights in a row. <laughs> so rare for us to do it like that. Yeah. But we're also going, um, on, dude, fingers crossed, to Stradbroke Alpha Island Kong. tomorrow, which means we won't be taking Alpha Instant Pot, so we're getting that out. And we haven't planned any of it. And we haven't planned a thing. Alpha but that's what it's about. No plan, remember? Mom. Uh, yeah, anyway, we've been hammering the Instant Pot and the butcher down the road is awesome, so I had a nice little Hi. leg of lamb. Hi. And so tonight, garlic and rosemary leg of lamb in the Instant Pot. Bacon in there. No, it doesn't need bacon in there. Mm. Like bacon. It doesn't, oh, I'll show you in a minute, but basically, like, there's an epic gravy in there, it's so good. And so I just lay them in garlic, rosemary, salt and pepper, a little bit of water, cook it with the veggies, simmer the, simmer the sauce down to a gravy. Good as gold. Feed me.